So in this next video, we're going to set up our animation. So we're going to go back to the content under the Mixamo dude. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to create a sequencer. So let's go back to the content, context and right click. I'm going to create a folder uh, called sequence. So or cinematics would be also okay. Why don't we call it cinematics? It'll make more sense to most of you. Cinematics. Okay, and I'll give that a color too. Let's go with a uh, new color. I don't know. Let's go with really yellow. Okay, stands out a little bit. So, cinematics. I'm going to right click. I'm going to go under cinematics here. I'm going to go level sequence. I'm going to go sequence one or something like that. I'm going to double click on it. And what I want to do right away is I'm going to drag my character in. To the level now he's not actually in there yet so i'm going to go here mix and mode dude uh i'm going to drag um aj right here and he'll probably render let's just make sure he's facing the right way he's not so press the uh, e key which is a rotate key we're going to make him face this way and then what i want to do is go over here click him drag him in here okay so to drag it this way yeah okay so here he is now nothing's going to happen if i played this okay there's first of all there's no camera the thing i want to do first is we're going to set up is animation so um in the animation track there's a whole bunch of them here and there's a couple ways to go about this probably what i would do is again let's use this yellow color here we're going to use this there's a whole bunch of them so let's click on one of them and what you want to do is find the ones that work for you. So, you know, one thing you may want to do is just click through them this way. So I really like this one. What is it called? Break, and, and, and you might need to move this a little bit so you can see that. The, so break dance ending two. So keep track of that. Okay, so I really like, let, let's see how it starts. So this is where it starts. It comes in dances like that. Now, you don't need to use the whole thing, and I'll show you how to cut part of that in and out okay so i'm gonna go back so it's called breakdancing ending two i want to start my my whole thing with this i'm going to put this over here and i'm going to go here breakdance ending two so i'm going to start with that and one of the things i need to also do is change the length of this before i do that i'm going to change it into seconds because most of us you know don't really think in time frames we think in seconds so this is our currently five seconds so let's go at least 30 seconds maybe 35 it's easier to shorten so 35 press enter and so that's kind of the whole length of my sequence and this is where it'll end with this red line is and now what i want to do is check is he dancing on the thing he's doing a pretty good job okay so i'm pretty happy with that so let's let's just press the space bar so you can see him dancing now one thing that you might note is if he's clipping into the platform what you can do is lift them up a little bit okay so either you lift them up in general so let's go to wherever he is here at the beginning and how do i go to the beginning i click here okay and i'm going to click the w key i'm going to lift them just a little bit and you see how it's snapping turn this off and then just you can move them however you want and maybe i can even move in here and make sure he's on the ground and then i'm going to click here location because i want him to be there starting there okay but then when he clicks in here and he starts dancing let's just see if his foot goes through if it's if it's really bad you you'll have to fix it if not you leave it so these are all really good so now what i want to do is find another animation that he can sink into so maybe this ending three here that's a good dance but i don't think that's the one we want okay let, let's have him go into this footwork let's just get the right name it's called footwork one so pause this go back here so i'm going to go here i'm going to go and look for footwork one 
go right over it. There it is, footwork one. And it'll put it on the wrong layer. So what you do is you bring it in here, and this here, you see, will allow it to transition between the two. Now, sometimes it doesn't work perfectly, but we'll look at that in a second. Let's see if it looks good. So you see the foot went through the ground there. So I don't know if there's a way to easily fix that. And that's the problem with kind of like using pre-done mocap data. So what I would do is whenever I film, I'm going to make sure that my camera doesn't show that angle. Okay, so I'm going to just leave it. And I, I like that so much, I'm going to do it again. Okay, so I'm going to just use that same animation again. Footwork. He's just going to keep doing that move. And so let's go here, put it in more. Just see if it looks, if it works, because that's really important that you test it. Again, we'll have to fix it with a camera here. So now I'm going to make them. Um, now I'm going to stop soon, but you can keep, you need to do about 20 seconds, 30 seconds of this as much as possible. What could be another animation that we could use? So let's go over here. Okay. Well, and see the head is going to be an issue because he's got a big head. But we can use it anyways. I'm going to show you how to fix the, the head. Okay, so that one's called footwork to something. So let's go here. I'm going to go here. Footwork to, to freeze, I guess. Let's see if it works. Now, you have to blend them or else they'll look choppy. See, there's like a chop there. So blend it in. Sometimes... Even when you blend it in, it doesn't work, and you need to either shorten this, as in move this and cut it here and blend from there. So, you know, in this case, it seems to be working. So let's see. So you see right here, there's an issue. So we're going to go slow right here. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go under location, and I think it's the z-axis. I'm going to move it up a little bit. Now, part of the problem is, is I lifted it up. So I need to go here and click on the z-axis keyframe because I'm happy with it there. And then here... He's going to put his head into the floor. So what I'm going to do is I could click keyframe again here. And then here when his head goes into the floor, he's still good here. So I'll keyframe, hit another one here. And then here's where his head's going to go. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to lift him a little bit. So that his head doesn't go as much in the floor. It might go a little bit, but it'll be better. So it doesn't show like as bad. And then I'm going to go get one last animation. Um, now the problem is, is he needs to get one where he goes from up to down. So that's probably this one, footwork to idle. Okay, so I'll go get that one. Oops, I keep doing that. Sorry. So I'll go over here. I'm going to go animation. You got to use what you have, unfortunately. And maybe, you know, it's not all perfect and... Footwork to idle, and, and again, let's do that. And it's these are meant to go together, so hopefully, see what happens here. We got the keyframe, so that one's way too lifted, as you can see. So, we need to absolutely lower this one, or else it'll just look ridiculous. It kind of looks ridiculous, anyways, but we got to work on it. So there he is standing up. And you see he's a little bit too far into the earth. So maybe just delete that and, and you know, lift them a little bit more. And pretty good. So now we need some kind of idle because it ends too suddenly, okay? So let's just go over here. Let's see what we got. Um... Do I have idle? You can just type idle. See what comes up. Bring on footwork to idle. No. 
So uh, I should have an idol that I brought in. If not, I'll go get it. Okay, so he's doing that kind of cool dance. I really like these that I had at the end here, footwork and ending. So I'm going to use that one, ending two. Okay, so go back here. Animation. Uh, ending, I'm looking for ending two. I was using this time. And it's kind of like an idol, and it's a good way to finish. I just make sure he's not floating in the air anymore. And right now we're really close. Be aware we're going to be using tricks with the camera and so on. So I'm really happy with that. I'm done. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm not done as in I need to do some more work. Uh, and I'm going to film this and I'll set up the cameras in the next film. Okay. But let's start it from the beginning and let's have a look from a distance. This is the big test. You know, if you see really problematic where his feet go right through the floor, just keep track of where it is so that when you do your camera work, uh, which is in the next video, we're going to make sure we're not chopping into the ground. So there he is. Looks really good. Really happy with that. So that we're done there. And you can also, I believe, freeze a frame here. Um, if you click on one of these animations, properties and play rate you can speed it up slow it down by the way um, is active is locked there's a freeze frame somewhere in here uh, at the end I'll have to look it up here but you can even reverse the animation which is ju you just click that button and it'll start from where it ends and this is where the speed is where you can speed it up um, I don't remember. Maybe it's down here. It's locked active. Uh, I'll look it up. Uh, anyways, that's the, you got your animation. You're ready to set up your cameras, uh, and possibly we'll do the special effects at the end. Okay. Thanks.